Hey guys, welcome back to the Mike and Raquel podcast. We're so stoked that you guys are tuning in today. Tuning in tuning with in. your host. With your host. Micah. And Raquel. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. But guys, today is going to be a fun episode. It's going to be all about celebrity crushes. Celebrity Ooh, crushes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so we're going to be guessing each other's celebrity crushes. Mike has always said that he like doesn't really have celebrity crushes. Well, once you're married, I feel like... Well, I- yeah, once you're married, I feel like they kind of go away yes, this, i don't this know is all pre-marriage guys these are crushes that we yes. had from like when we were little younger when we were in high school through the micah and raquel eras yes the, the what are they call it the arcs yeah arcs? i'm in like my i'm in like my fitness arc so yeah that, that you, wait what you heard that people say that it's no. like, like i'm in my I've fitness of, era yeah fitness it's like era. another one's like my fitness arc they do that <laughs> i've never heard of that I, uh, recently, maybe actually, that's a I thing saw, okay to be honest i saw one gaming video and like yeah that was me when i was in my Fortnite arc so that's why it's Wait, does it mind. stand for something? I don't know. I think it does. I think it's a. I think it's like a like a movie thing. Okay. I don't know. Well, but, cool. Um, yeah, guys, we're um, <laughs> we're here and we're gonna be talking about crushes before. Yes. You know, and this will be just a fun, exciting episode. Yes, it's gonna be fun. And <coughs> whoa, whoa! I'm not sick anymore. I know. I don't know where that just came <laughs> from, but I'm not sick anymore. And today. We got our fantastic Better Buzz. Guess where we went? Better Buzz. Well, I think the last two episodes we had Starbucks. Oh, so did th- we? I think so. So this is this is um we're back to better buzz. Yes. And their vanilla latte is gas. It's really good. That's I what, what I usually really get. Good. I almost got a smoothie today, which I like. Mm. Usually, if we film like later, I would get a smoothie. But today, I was just feeling the the coffee. The coffee. The coffee, coffee. Coffee. Which, by the way, speaking of coffee, hmm. fun, exciting news, guys. What? We this week booked. What? Oh, our flight's going back to New York. Yes, that's right. We We're are going headed back. back to New We're York. We're going back. I don't know. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but the last time we went to the New York, if you guys know who the green lady is, we saw her. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. It's basically is like that this a real old, name, the yes, green lady. Yeah, I'm pretty oh. sure that's her handle or like the green woman or something like that. But basically, she's like an 80 year old. I could be guessing that's her age, old, but she's high. really, really old. Like an 80 year old woman, and she dresses from head to toe in neon green. Like her hair is green, everything yeah, is green. Everything's green. And we walked past her, and I was like, wait. And she has like a lot of followers on Instagram and stuff like that. She's famous. But yeah, she's famous for wearing her wearing her green. But we're going back. We're and going back. We're stoked. We're going to be going with our friends Damien and Jade, yes. which is so exciting. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. And it's going to be in summer. And for it's it's summer. for Micah's so we, birthday month. So now we've been in winter. Now we're going for summer. I'm so excited. We're going to go with our friends, which is just wear already a once in a lifetime fun opportunity. Yes. To go like yeah. party it up in New York City with yeah. our friends. Because Jade is going to be in her second trimester. Yeah. So she's going to be feeling a little bit better. It's she can be walk awesome. around. They can show us all the good spots, the bad spots. Mm hmm. Because, you know, we did a lot of touristy things, I feel like, the last time we went. Yeah. So now we I get to go. I just want to get, like, good food. I want to get, like, pizza. I want to go to, like, a good, I don't know. I just want dumplings. Dumplings. Man, we had some fire ones. We had ones some with fire that. dumplings last nice. time. But well, we're going back. Yeah. We're stoked. Well, first, we're going to start off. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this, but growing up, I would do, like, if I was with like my aunt, we would do this. But what's your thorn in your flesh, or not thorn in the flesh? <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your thorn? Shut up the I know. Uh, what is your thorn in your rose? Which is funny. My or, like, your family highs always or did lows. the high and the lows. High and lows, yeah. Isn't it interesting how they rhyme? I just realized that. High low. High low thorn and rose. No, nope, they don't rhyme not at all. all. But that's okay. Well, that's right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, love, what was your thorn? Well, week. I'll give you my thorn and my rose in one okay, go. Okay, go you know, for it. The, it's like it's like here's bad news now, good news. You know Love what it. I mean? All right. So my week, ladies and gentlemen, this week, my thorn in my flesh <gasps> was your thorn in your flesh. Like yeah, I did, I did it again. <laughs> it's, I think it's such Lord. a it's such a Christianese thing to say. <laughs> like that's how I that's it's how the I thorn in it's my, my thorn in my flesh. Anyway, so okay, well the thorn of my week was that this week my office flooded. Yeah. Yes, very exciting. A water pipe bursted in our office and yeah. there was like two inches of water in our <laughs> flooded in our office. Like everywhere. Everywhere. I got a call at 8 a.m. when I was sleeping. I was just playing video games till like 2 a.m. And or I got a text message from my boss saying, hey, you might want to come in and take a look at your office. So 
came in and sure Love enough it. it was flooded <laughs> he sent me videos and it was like it was way worse than what i expected <laughs> i was like oh they probably just spilled like just put some towels or whatever but it was like bad yeah it was so funny because from the guy who the first person who like came in and saw it he's here at like 7 30 a.m he's like I, oh shoot I guess, like i guess he called like like um what would you consider him like our CFO? Okay. Yeah, like the, the C C C O C O O C. He'd be our C O O, and he was all like, he was all, when he told him like, hey, the place is flooded. He's like, okay, grab a mop. He's like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. Like the no, whole get it. place is flooded. That was the only thorn I think, or that was the thorn it was just my Good. office being flooded, and now it's being, you know, it's drying. Nice. Um, but my rose. Okay, so this is awesome. So my rose for this week is that my brother and brother-in-law wanted to start back up our MXM podcast. For those of you who don't know, before I obviously I had the Mike and Raquel podcast, I was I've always been super into gaming, and my brother and brother-in-law had like our own like gaming organization podcast. And so something that was really funny as we've been trying to kick it back up, just for the old memes and for the fun times, is that something that they used to do is that, or we used to do is we would record at like midnight. I don't think I even told this. I didn't tell this to you yet, but we used to record every episode at like midnight really? because they got off work from Chick-fil-A at like 11, 1130. So they would come home. We would like, you know, they'd be in their outfits. They'd mm -hmm. smell like fried chicken. And Love then we'd it. sit on a couch and we'd film an episode. So to this week on Tuesday, when we were filming our first episode, they're <laughs> like, you know, Micah, we like, we, you know, me and Kevin discussed and we were talking about how we just want to make this feel like it's more natural. So they took off their sweatshirts. They had all their Chick-fil-A gear Wait, back on. Wait, that's hilarious. This is really funny, actually. It was so awesome. I was cracking up <laughs> because they were like, they because they we have we all three of us still have our Chick-fil-A gear. I love it. You know, but obviously at that time when we were filming the originally, I wasn't working there anymore. But they full blown had all their gear on from like Marcus was a chef, so he had his full cover on. That's hilarious. Kevin had his red shirt on. Oh that's my right. gosh! I know. I forgot that Marcus was a chef in the back. Yeah, I was actually a chef back in my. Day. You were a chef I back in your chef. day. You were a chef. <laughs> Pretty lit. But anyway, so that was my rose. It was just, it was. So, I was cracking up at how funny that was. Love it. Was, it. Yeah. I know you guys seemed like you were having a lot of fun. You were like screaming. I know, I was screaming in the living room. But what about you, girl? What was your thorn and rose of this week? Well, my thorn. I got my nails done, and she did a really good job as far as like the shape and the actual color. I loved, and just everything came out really well. But I, they're, these are like my Valentine's Day nails and I wanted these little hearts on it. And the way that mm. she put the hearts on were like a little bit different than what I was thinking. Oh. So I don't know. I like the hearts on my toes better than the hearts on my hands. Okay. So it was a little bit of a bummer. And so I have like red nails with white hearts on them and it kind of reminds me of like dice. <laughs> and so whenever I look at my hands, I feel like it looks like dice, but the, some girls Yahtzee. I ran into, they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. Here I got you. Yahtzee. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. But so girls saw it and they thought it was cute. So I don't know. But a little bit bummer because I was like so excited about it. Encouragement right yes. there. But my rose is that this weekend I went to tea with some friends <gasps> and it was so much fun. Hot tea. Some high tea. But it was so fun. I love like getting all dressed up and like wearing my blazer and wearing a cute dress. Yeah, she looked really pretty. Thank you. you I really did pretty. really like my Luke. Your Luke? My Luke that Why do you day. say it like that? Is I think it's a high fashion thing. Oh, it's a high fashion thing. <laughs> you guys go, my Luke. My Luke for today. That's so fun. So it's like people say it like that. I think it's, well. <laughs> Where did that come well, from? Most people say my look. But oh, I just, you just throw a little something extra in I, there. I pronounce it like L-E-U-K. Yeah. My Luke. My Luke. Yes, I this noticed that. This is my Luke for today. <laughs> I think some people say that maybe like in Europe. Oh, is I'm that guessing maybe because they have an accent. I don't know. I think it makes it like more high fashion. Oh, it makes it more high fashion. Mm. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Hey, but okay. But yeah, so that was my rose and my my thorn. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have our celebrity crushes, and this is going to be very fun because we broke it down between. Our celeb crushes when we were very very young like talking what five to ten know, elementary yeah like super young and then our high school kind of teenage heartthrob <gasps> And Ooh. then when we're a little bit older. A little bit older. So it'll be interesting to see like if there's any consistency with any of these. Interesting. But, but we also... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, and I think the cool... What we're going to also do is... So we 
so obviously we're looking at our notes and we have one, two, three, but we only put the first letter of each name. Yeah. So I'm when she goes, okay, for number one, I'm gonna try and guess okay. who her first people were. Okay. So for my first like young era era. Little Kelly. I have I put two. So I, see I have that. Z or J. Okay, so here here's here's what I'm gonna go with. Okay. Okay. So I'm feeling Okay, hold on. Let me give you a little backstory. What? I feel like it could be something big time rush, which I have no idea if it's big time rush people. Okay. Was okay, so maybe that was correct. <laughs> no, I'm but, just laughing. <laughs> but my initial thought for this was Zane. Zane. Malik. Oh, from from no from one direction. Okay. No, or I was Justin such a Bieber. Harry. I was such a Harry Styles. Honestly, that would have been a good one. I was obsessed with Harry Styles. Oh, really? But or Justin Bieber? Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. Okay, so both are incorrect, but really, but very valid for the Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is still my like, yeah, I mean, he's just <laughs> incredible. But for Z, that was actually Zac Efron because High School Musical. Really? I remember watching that in like my first, like the first High School Musical and being so mesmerized because it was like he was cool. Mm -hmm. He could play sports, but also he was like a Me lover too. in the Me fact too. that he could like sing. But I was just so jealous of Gabriella. I was mm, like, oh, that's mm. so cool. And he was like a nice kid too. Yeah, he was cool. So I liked him. And then you are correct for the J. Uh, James from Big Time Rush. Oh my I was gosh, obsessed so with him. There, this is like bad, but I remember being like very young and there was this one Halloween episode oh no. that he like, and this was very like taboo on like Nickelodeon, but he like kissed a girl very passionately, might I add. Oh my gosh. I remember, <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I remember like, like, uh, what's the opposite rewinding? of fast forward yeah rewinding it and just over it <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> just rewatching him kiss this girl because i was like like this is so like very gnarly on nickelodeon but it was also like my crush kissing yeah, this girl yeah. he was older he was older too wow dude i was a, i thought he was very cute yeah you're a very little crazy i know little, little pre crazy kelly preteen i know that's hilarious but what about you i see you have g i have a g what do you think G is? I don't know. Oh, Gabriella? Gabriella. Is it? Yeah. Dude, we went okay. Home school high five. That was horrible. <laughs> okay. So literally like, yeah, that, that's what I thought. That was so funny. That, that okay. you, the fact that you put Zac Efron that's was perfect funny. that I put Gabriella. I love I it. Feel like, I feel like in the early 2000s, if you didn't have some crush on someone from High School Musical. There's something off. There was something wrong with you. I thought Sharpay was sick. I thought Sharp. Okay. I feel like Sharpay became, I feel like I liked more of her character towards like this like when the I was third older. episode or yes, third movie yes i was like she dude, was a boss go sharp dude. Yeah. Pay, like power to you yeah you know what i mean but like when you're in like i think i must have been in like second grade yeah no literally super young first you know gabrielle is the heartthrob of my Aww. life you know what i mean <laughs> i'd actually have such a funny story because i remember at one point i like wanted to like secretly without my parents knowing print out a picture of of Gabriella Montez. Stop. And so I go to my dad's office, print out a picture, and little did I know, I made the mistake of printing like 500. <laughs> Don't know how I did it. And so I go Stop away and I it. come back and there's 500 oh, pictures, like profile just panic. pictures of just her. I'm like, I'm so much, I'm in so much trouble. And so I'm like trying to cancel That's as much hilarious. can. And now I've got 500 pieces of paper that I got to like figure <laughs> Gabriella out. Gabriella Montez. Okay, well, I'm like, what am I going to do? That's so So I'm funny. like going, and I'm like going around the neighborhood and putting them in other people's trash cans. Oh my god! I didn't want to get in trouble, man. I was, I was a little crazy hilarious. kid. I didn't want to get in trouble. I love that. And so then of course the one picture that I had of her. Yeah. Like. I literally like hit it in a binder. Oh my, so my gosh. parents would never know. That's hilarious. I was a little sneaky little crazy. Well, I mean, kid. I had like posters of Justin Bieber like all over my wall and I would like kiss them. Oh. On my door. There you go. So I guess similar. I feel like I may have I feel like I think I've done that. I think everyone like, at least printed once something has, out. has kissed like when yeah, when you're younger kissed like some picture of Or like, or did some... you ever kiss a spoon? No. Okay. Never mind. I did the mirror though. <laughs> I kissed myself in the mirror. I did do that. <laughs> I need to do that. We're really exposing know, ourselves right I know. now. This I'm, might be a little weird. Yeah, we're really exposing ourselves <laughs> but like, here. Also, if you do this with your hands, I was told <laughs> that it like resembles lips. Man, so I would thing, like do that. The things that we do as, as like young kids to like. I love it. Oh gosh, we're so it's funny. It's great. You know what? <laughs> All right. So Gabriella well, and Zach Efron, I love it. Yeah, that's actually really good. I, I'm actually kind of like. I feel a connection I know. There between us. The fact that we both are we like married or something? <laughs> Maybe I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so my next one I have oh, here is D. 
Oh my gosh. So this is like high school. High school. Yeah. Dude, this is a I'm trying to think of like people whose names are D. It's gonna be something so easy too, and I'm totally you're gonna be like, oh I don't know. I'm just gonna say it because it's the first thing that comes to my mind, but it's so not true. What? It's like the f- only person I can think of right now named D is like Dwayne Johnson. Like the Rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> what the frick? That's the only thing that's going on. You think that my no. freshman self had a crush on Dwayne the Rock Johnson? No, that's just what's going on in my mind. Dude, that's, the only that's actually the hilarious. That's the only thing that comes with the that's D. That's hilarious. What's wrong with him? He's probably. Which I actually do he think. I do think he's nice. Looking. Uh, it's so funny. He's like my that's uncle hilarious. too. That's just crazy. Yeah. Somehow, which honestly, like, so we need to figure out how that works. Somehow he's related to the Rock. Somehow. Yeah, some, somehow. Yeah. I mean, well, one obviously we're both Samoan, so that yeah, that definitely obviously there's a some lineage. But like, yeah, I think he's like like we're kind of close related. Really? I think so. I my dad has kind of explained it one time. Like we're maybe from the same tribe. Oh. Or something like crazy like that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, who's who's your D here? My D is Dylan O'Brien. Oh, I should have guessed that. I guessed I, that last night. He was so, he was like the high school heartthrob okay, in so wait, my wait, time. Wait, 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 Dylan O'Brien from like, when? when's the first time you're like, Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there was this one movie called The Internship. Do you remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> when Dylan O'Brien How was in the it? world were you watching The Internship that was like, when you're in high school? Well, you're like in high school, you're watching like all the like older, mo- like the older people movies. So it was like, oh my okay, gosh. Okay, I guess so. And Dude, it was like, a good movie. I know it is a really funny movie, <laughs> but Dylan O'Brien is in it and he's like this nerdy. Yes. He's like this nerdy guy. He's working got glasses Google. working for Google. That, but also in Maze Runner. Maze Runner fire. So I just okay. had the biggest crush on him because I Dang. thought he was like. He wasn't like the super sporty guy, yes. but he was like the nerdy, oh my the gosh. so cute. Yeah, yeah. I really liked him. That was me with like, um, uh, 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 what's her name? Um, in Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man. Uh, Gwen Stacy. No, oh. Gwen Stacy from the, when we were in like how he was all shy, but she was also kind of nerdy and shy too. Do you remember that? Emma Stone when yeah. she yeah I remember yeah. so she was like oh you liked her because she was like still smart similar. but like yeah but kind of quirky, quirky. <laughs> yeah I was like I, I totally get that's that that's funny I love um, it but no I, I'm gonna say something unpopular and just gonna be I think it's just the say truth it. Maze Runner is way better than Divergent and Hunger <gasps> Games 100% what? I, like the first like the first Maze Runner that's was such a bold statement f- to make but but Maze Runner the first Maze Runner was fire yeah second Maze Runner Okay. Is that the scorched one? Third one had me Wait, so upset three? with Teresa. There's three. There's like four. No. There's definitely no. There's, there's three. I think there. I thought there was only two. So the two. first ones they escape. Second ones they're in the desert. Yeah. And and then like uh, uh. I thought that was it. No, they get in the desert, and then I think that's when they meet the people, and then they're like, okay, we gotta leave. So maybe there is four. Dude, Snap. I need to refresh. I, I need to refresh. Because, so this first one, because they're in the maze, they get the, they escape the maze. They're in the desert. They find like the the civilization. Mm-hmm. They realize the civilization is mm-hmm. um, bad, so they leave. And then, uh, like I think there's a third one. Like at the end of the third one, I think Teresa like calls them like the bad people and tells them where they're at. And the Wait, fourth really? one is like them shutting it, trying to shut it all down. It's like a whole ordeal. But anyways. Yeah, I think the first... I like, love Divergent. I love those kinds of movies. Me too. Like, those are my favorite kind of movies. I feel like... Okay, let me, let me say this. First Divergent, first Maze Runner, fire. Mm-hmm. Second ones, eh. <laughs> like For, a, eh. First <laughs> Hunger Games, eh. Second Hunger Games, now we're talking. Really? Third Hunger Games, fourth <sighs> Hunger Games, We were actually wow. just talking about this yesterday so about good. the Hunger Games series. We love Hunger Games. Yes, but we're tangenting, and that's totally my fault. So, okay. No, it's okay. All right, so moving back. Okay, so your high school is J. Is J. <laughs> the first name that came to mind was Jesse J. <laughs> Jesse J. <laughs> no. Um <laughs> I don't know a J name. What's a J? Janelle? Julia? Julia Fox? Julia mm. Roberts? Julia Roberts? No. Um I don't know who. Dude, this is so funny. You totally know this one. Jennifer Aniston, baby. Oh, duh. I Come knew on. that. 100%. Man, again, high She's school. She's a lovely woman. High school, 
into I approve. like friends bro are you kidding she me? was beautiful I, she was yeah I mean, I mean she still is she's i mean she's still really good looking for her age a lot of plastic surgery i assume and great skin care so no? i think she i mean probably botox but as far as like all the fillers and stuff i don't really think she's yeah. got much dude if you weren't in like i mean obviously everyone was into her obviously when you're like the 90s and 2000s yeah. but like i watched friends in yeah. high school and was like yeah yeah i want a girl just obsessed, like this yeah everyone was like obsessed with rachel because like I don't know. Rachel's like great, but also She's, I loved Courtney. Court, yes, I liked Courtney too. I think Courtney was great, but I think like what I liked specifically is like which is Monica, by the way, for those who don't. Yes, know. I liked what I specifically liked about Jeff Anderson as Rachel mm-hmm. was that like she was quirky, she yeah. was silly, she was yeah. fine, but she's also really smart, mm-hmm. really pretty. Okay. You know what I mean? Like she like I see some similarities. I see many similarities. <laughs> It's like kind of actually interesting to think about that, like how the Lord allows certain crushes you have. Yeah. And then like once you're married, like you see these different things that you would like yes. in fictional girls yes. or different people. Who yeah. Like, wow, I really appreciated that yeah. about them. And so I'm going to look for someone I, like, like totally that. I totally think that too, because like Zac Efron, I think is very similar to you. I mean, I look just like him. Look at my I'm I... <laughs> me, i'm absolutely jacked. <laughs> but shredded. no, I, th- I think you do remind me of Zac Efron a lot. And mm. like, but when you get in your gaming mode, you are very nerdy. Is that a bad thing? No, that's a good thing. Cause I like nerdy mm-hmm. stuff. Oh yeah. See, I'm a Dylan O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. So for my last, oh, okay. Ooh. This one's a good one. H. Yes. I've said this a thousand times. Oh, you gosh. should know this. Oh gosh. H. Oh boy. Oh. This is like older Kelly. I know. I'm thinking Harry Styles. No. I know because he said it wasn't anything of that. You you totally have, dude. Why is this? Why are we forgetting this? I know. About each other in the moment right now. H. Um. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Okay. Long awkward Kryptonite. pause. Kryptonite. Oh, Henry Cavill. Yes. That's a great Henry one. Cavill. I, Cavill. Superman, baby. Cavill. Hun- Cavill. Henry Cavill. I un- I approve honestly. Like, I think that he was such a nice man. <laughs> he was such a nice <laughs> he was such man. a nice man no i just i i don't know i just liked him again again with the whole nerdy the glasses thing that's why i love it when you wear your glasses like oh. it's so just yeah yes yeah. and so he had the like daytime he was nerdy by nighttime mm-hmm. he was like saving people's lives i thought yeah. that was cool man still one of the hardest scenes i've ever seen in my life what we should rewatch that movie honestly what, I haven't Superman? seen it. Yeah, I haven't watched oh. it since I was like young. But literally, like one of the hardest, like I'm talking baller, like what? scenes I've ever seen in my life was Mission Impossible. Mm-hmm. Henry Cavill was in it. He was. And there was yeah, there's a scene where he's in the bathroom fighting against Tom Cruise. Oh, and he, he was a bad guy. In in yes and no. So technically, at this moment, he was not yet like. Tom Cruise didn't know. Okay. But yes, he's bad. But he does this thing. And if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm about to say. He's in the bathroom, but he does this thing. And I guess it wasn't even scripted. He just did it. Where like he I did, love I moments gotta, like that. I got to do the action real quick. He goes. What is so, that? So like he was wearing cuff sleeves and he like moves his arms like that and like lifts up his arms to start fighting. And oh, it was the cool. most baller, hardest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. So sometimes I'll do, I'll do it again. Like, and that's and how he's, he's to fight. doing that to like lift it, up his sleeve. It moved up his sleeve because oh, he was wearing was cool? a button up shirt. Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> okay. It's sick. And I was and like, it wasn't scripted, but he did that in the scene. And I was like, bro, okay. that is so cool. I love it. I, uh, I love it. Okay, my number three. Okay, I know this one easy. What do you mean you know this one? I know this one. So, everyone, I literally had a call before we were filming and i told my buddy what we were filming on and he's like oh so you're gonna be talking about i said yeah we're gonna be talking about her yeah he's gonna be talking about tiffany hudson tiffany well now she's hudson now she's hudson she was hammer but now she's oh, married. oh yeah that's right that's right <laughs> tiffany hammer formerly hammer yes but this is like a worship leader um right mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And she's like, she's really cute. I actually really like her. Yes. Tiffany Hudson, or now Hudson. Yeah. She's a singer for Elevation Worship. Yes. And oh my gosh, I had the biggest crush on her forever. (laughs) She's really, really cute. She's been like one of, she's been the only girl other than Raquel who's been in my lock screen. Like you had her on your lock screen. Yeah, I had her like worshiping. I thought it was sick. That's hilarious. Dude. Oh, I mean, you had like other... I had like Cristiano Ronaldo as my yeah, lock screen. You know, for, like a while. But obviously, this is pre 
her being married yeah like before she was married it was so funny because i saw the progression <laughs> of her like dating yeah her like man really and like her husband too i like i have equally the same amount of crush on yeah. her as i do that's like me well, with like justin let bieber let me, let me it's like i'm that. obsessed with justin bieber and so that's why like therefore i love yeah. Hailey bieber like yeah let me phrase that because i don't really have a crush on her anymore but i have a big crush on her husband her husband is yeah. so cool but you can appreciate her like i'm pretty sure she's yeah. great i love her singing she's yeah. a great she, voice she, yeah her voice is really it's really unique she, i love love their relationship is really cool i really love their like they're like they let's just say so the husband's name is mate which already is like the sickest name i've ever had like seen but i've okay. dm'd him a couple times we've chatted about random stuff you've dm'd him and yeah. he's responded to you yeah 100 okay cool. um but like because he's he's another creative director um and so he like he filmed all of obviously like elevation he does a lot of elevation worships like music videos and mm -hmm. stuff like that and so i've dm'd him and talked to him about different things but dude like he is so cool like i follow him on youtube obviously i follow him on, on socials and i just man yeah i would say like obviously i had a big crush on tiffany uh, hammer at the time you know i was in bible college mm -hmm. and i was like strong christian woman who can sing totally sing the lord i was stoked on That's it hilarious but yeah. i really like her i think she's cute mm -hmm. she is blonde though She's blonde. There's like this joke that like I don't understand <laughs> it. I'm not fully there I, with it. I don't know. There's always this joke where I'm like, blonde. Yeah, or Raquel thinks so. Like Raquel one time told me that if she ever died, I'd probably remarry a blonde. Yeah, and I was like, what? just because I'm brunette, I'm like, if I were to die, would you marry a blonde? He's like, no, I don't think so. But it's just like it's a, it's one of those questions where it's like you know if I was a caterpillar, what, would you yeah, love me? What women ask you like, <laughs> if I was a worm, would you still love me? I'm like. <laughs> yes it's, it, <laughs> yeah it's exactly one of those again <laughs> i love it okay so we've now talked about different crushes that we have had over yes. the eras. eras okay but what i think is interesting is like there are some people who have crushes on others i'm like i'm sorry i do <laughs> not see that okay or i, I yeah explain me why yes you know? i i can agree with that so like i would love to hear like if you maybe have a girl i can share a guy okay of like girls or like guys really find this girl like attractive or they're okay. their crush but yes you're like okay what i got you know that what I mean? so one that comes to mind is julia fox yeah so she dated wow, kanye funny. and i'm pretty sure she's like an actress she's dated like other b-list a-list celebrities yeah she tends to freak me out a little bit she reminds <laughs> me of, like i mean she does her makeup really interesting so maybe mm -hmm. that's it but mm -hmm. i never like never really got it for that one i felt like okay i thought she looked really pretty and yeah. i thought she did a great job in uncut gems to move i with never Adam knew Stanley. her before she dated kanye Really, this, that's the first time, and I didn't even, this, this is to prove your point, like, I didn't even realize that those two girls were the same girl. Oh, wow. I didn't know until recently. And I was like, wow, that's interesting, because, again, like, in the movie, she looked really normal, uh -huh. but then outside of that- She does her makeup, like, does really her makeup crazy, super, fashion, it, crazy, super and crazy. Fashion is crazy. It's yeah. out there. Yeah. So I was like, wait a minute. Is I'm this so the confused. same? Yeah. So that one, I never, it never really- clicked for she's me a, but she's a model she's a model and a mom she's a she's mom, a mom. she's got a, like a i think like either like a toddler like a four-year-old or something wait, wait no. is she the one that has the older daughter she no. might have an older daughter does she maybe i don't think, I think so. she does i think she has an older daughter i'm talking like 20s what no yeah. there's no way she's super young but she's like in her 30s yeah i think no that no that doesn't no, make, that sense. make sense i don't know maybe it is maybe it is. I, for some reason i feel like she had a daughter that was maybe older. we can google it we'll have to google it but what about but, you? Odd crush. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've got one so big. What? And in fact, when it's in saying this, this is also one of Raquel's at a time. She okay. didn't mention on her list, okay. but hundred percent she has she has had a crush on this dude. Okay. Okay. I am dramatically pausing as I try to remember his name. Oh, there it is. Pete <laughs> Davidson. Okay. What is up with that? Why? So there is a phenomenon. Okay, hold with on. Pete Before Davidson. you even finish that statement, okay? What? I am blown away yeah. at how many girls are into Pete Davidson. It's the Riz. But more importantly, how many famous celebrities have yes. now had Dated. more than just like, we're talking more than just like two months. Oh, yeah. Like Fully. Six, seven, eight years. Do you know how, like, the girls that he has blown, on his roster? Blown away. Ariana Grande. They were engaged. Kim yeah. Kardashian. Madeline Klein. No. Yes, that's the latest one. It just, the news just came out. Wow. I know. Gosh, dude. I know. Dude, I know. This is. And then there's been like a couple more. 
I can't remember who else, but like really beautiful girls. It's the Riz. It's the Riz. Dude, I can get if you're funny. He's like, he's funny. He's hilarious. He's so funny. But also like there's this thing called like ugly, ugly cute or like ugly hot where it's like they're so <laughs> ugly that it's like cute. Oh my God. It like it's it's reverse psychology. Genuinely. Wow. There's this other guy named Jeremy something. <sighs> Jeremy said he just came out with like a Calvin Klein uh, commercial. Hmm. And like formerly, he's just been like an average dude, like oh, really no. not cute. But ever since this like Calvin Klein commercial, all these girls are like, Jeremy, this Jeremy. Oh my gosh, she's so odd. Oh my gosh. And like, you know, Rosalia, she's now dating him. Really? Yes. Oh, so that's how you know about her. Yes. Or about him. Yes, because I'm obsessed with Rosalia. But <laughs> so yeah, it, it's like, it's this reverse psychology of they're so ugly that they're cute. And wow. if you have some humor in there, for sure. Guys, like, we just can't win. That's just what it is. <laughs> Well, like, I mean, no, you can win in both ways. Like, if you're ugly, like, there's still hope. I guess so. But you just got to be funny. <laughs> you just, you just got to be funny. <laughs> just got to be funny. Maybe throw in a, a talent in there if you're Dude, good at guitar that's or hilarious. something. I just, don't, I just don't understand it. I just, I can't, I don't know if there's any dudes that do understand it. But also, he's not like, I mean, sure, his face is a little off, but like, he's tall. It's, he's got lots of tattoos. Like, it's, I think for me, it's more the personality. You think like, he's weird? I just, yeah, I feel like he's kind of weird from what I see, like, again, from all of his different videos and skits, I think he's funny on certain things, but like, like, honestly, there was one video, I can't remember who it was, but like they were doing a roast of someone and like the chick like roasted him or something and then no one laughs. So he goes, yeah, <laughs> do you remember them talking about? No, dude, it was so funny because and, the, and then of course everyone cracked up because right. it was a horrible roast on him. But like his like <laughs> in front of everyone was That's hilarious. Funny. And then he got up there and he roasted her so bad. Oh, no. He like I can't even what he said. That's but what I'm it, seeing. See, he's funny. He is funny at certain things, but I just feel like yeah like it's just surprising the girls that he pulls for just being funny yes yes that's exactly my thing and i think yeah yeah, it's just very interesting but (laughs) it's interesting (laughs) what about like guy celebrity crushes that you're like oh this is my man crush like this is the guy who would like oh he's so cool celebrity you've told me one who is it ryan reynolds you've always liked him oh i've always liked that's a good one i've always really liked ryan reynolds a lot he's funny i think his humor is like interesting but the thing is like okay so his his humor is dry right no i feel like one thing i really appreciate about him is like and this is what they always say if you're an actor Mm -hmm. this is the spot you want to get to where you play the same role anytime dude that's freaking uh rosie huntington's uh husband who the guy from uh from megalodon the bald guy. Oh yeah, he Jason plays Statham. the same. He plays, a he same plays guy. the same freaking he's character. The, he's an A list actor that yeah. plays the same thing. Yeah. You know, you, you like, the hard you, action the rock, agent. Yeah, the Vin rock. Diesel. Yes, yeah. Vin Diesel. <laughs> there's, yes. there's certain people that just play the same role. <laughs> the over mom, and over. the moms, in like every single movie, it's like the same actresses. Right. So it's like it's like the, yeah, they just always play the same people, and they always say like that's a good spot you want to be in because then you just be yeah. who you are that's and great, so honestly. that's one thing i but also i think like i really really love like ryan reynolds ryan reynolds ryan reynolds ryan reynolds and his like his marriage i, I love their like They're their cool, relationship yeah. together yeah i love how business he is but yeah i think throwing it out there bradley cooper ryan love. reynolds ryan gosling love oh my gosh i mean love I mean, yeah, there's amazing there's, men, but I do love, um, what's her name? I've always liked Anne Hathaway, although she mm. lately, like all of her, I don't know, just like publicity stuff has just rubbed me the wrong way, but really, yeah, just like stupid stuff. But Anne Hathaway, I've always really liked and Julia Roberts. Do you Ju- know who that is? Yeah. Ju- the, the, um, <laughs> Julia Roberts, Sound of Music, Julia Roberts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, is that Julia Roberts? That's Julia Roberts. Sound of Music. <laughs> also, she's a, that's she's hilarious. like. No, I don't mean sh- her. I show. don't mean her. <laughs> what <laughs> that's are you hilarious. talking about? Julia, uh, what's her name? <laughs> the girl who's in uh, uh, Pretty Woman. i never seen Pretty Woman. Ah, the, come on. Who are you talking about? <laughs> that's hilarious, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts, yeah, she also she was she was it, she was in Princess Diaries. She was the the queen. That's Julia <laughs> Roberts, bro. Okay, I'm not talking about Ju- no. There's two Julia Roberts then, because Julia Roberts is this girl. Julia Roberts, oh. Runaway Bride. Is there two Julia Roberts? There might be. Oh, I'm now looking up Princess Sound Diaries. Of music. 
I think there is two Julia Roberts. Is there really? Oh, Julie Andrews is oh, who you're thinking of. Oh, I messed up. That was my bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's hilarious. Everyone. You have a fat crush on Julie Andrews. <laughs> Everyone's all like, come on, Micah. That's hilarious. No, 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 yeah. Julia, I've always really liked those. I like, and Jennifer Garner. Jennifer, Jennifer Garner. Garner. That's a great one. I always like the, because those women are all just like so naturally beautiful mm. and like, They've just got like a mom energy about them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's going to be you. Yeah, hopefully. No, I mean, you're already naturally beautiful, so you're already you, halfway baby. there. Now Thank we just got to get you a little baby. Mom energy. Mom energy. Mom energy. No. <laughs> it goes without saying, you are my biggest celebrity crush. Well, thank you. Thank you. I mean, I am kind of famous. You yeah. are famous. Well... Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of the Micah and Raquel podcast. If you are listening by audio, we appreciate you. Make sure you guys go ahead and leave us a five-star review. I think we're at two now. We have two five-star reviews, and that was All one by me, us. <laughs> and then I went on your phone. and <laughs> You did? What'd yeah, you I say? Did. Stellar podcast. You, you can only put five stars on Spotify. You so. can't write like a note No, or no, no. Oh, so if you're hilarious. listening to Spotify, guys, listen to the episode, and then make sure you click on about review five stars we Give appreciate us five it stars. here's a five star review okay and if you guys are watching on youtube thanks so much for watching go ahead and like subscribe and comment your biggest celebrity crush your biggest celebrity crush yes that's a great one i love that um so anyways guys <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting one. what an interesting perspective <laughs> anyways guys we are so thankful for you we appreciate you guys um we will see you next time see you next time deuces Adios. Yes. I mean, I mean, I do have 18 subscribers on our Mike I and I do Raquel. have uh, 14 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> I mean, I do have a. Uh, <laughs> I just hit 50 followers on TikTok. I just hit. <laughs> my video just got 200 views. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah.